But this is my passion, novels. And they're all about one person, are they? Yes, Dr. Barnaby Love, MD. I combined medical drama with erotic fiction. Dr. Barnaby Love, MD, in Two in a Deathbed. Why is it Dr. Barnaby Love, MD, in Two in a Deathbed? Well, I always hoped it'd be picked up as a long-running series, like Columbo, you know. But sadly not. Um, the first choice back in the day was Roger Moore, but nowadays it will probably be someone like George Clooney. I mean, he's played a doctor, hasn't he? He'd know what he was doing. <laughs> probably knows more than me. You haven't had any medical training? No. How do you get all the technical stuff right? Uh, just pick things up. Sure. Would you like me to read a little bit from my latest one? Yep. Open wide. Well, not that bad. That's filth, that bit. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, here's a good bit. So Dr Barnaby is um, operating on someone that all the top surgeons in the world said could not be saved. But Dr Barnaby disagrees. Okay. Nurse Stacy mopped his brow. Is that better, Doctor? Their eyes meet over the top of the masks you have to wear in operating theatres. Please, call me Barnaby. She blushes. OK, we're going in. He injects the medicine into the patient's main artery. That should do the trick, said Barnaby. OK, stitch him up, nurse. Dinner later? Oh, yes, please, she said. See you at eight. Does he live? Who, dear? The patient. Oh, I didn't say. I didn't bother with that. I'm sure he's fine if... They got the medicine into the main artery. Exactly. I wonder why all the top surgeons around the world didn't think of that. Yeah, Dr Barnaby's special, isn't he? He's best in the world. And a randy burger, too, which never hurts. <laughs> Dr Barnaby leaned back on his leather office chair, thoughtful. He was worried about a patient who had the worst brain tumour he had ever seen. There was a knock at the door. Come in, said Dr Barnaby. The door opened to reveal Nurse Cindy, the most attractive nurse in the hospital, obviously. Oh, sorry, she said. The ladies' changing rooms are out of order, so I wondered if I could get changed here, as you're a doctor. Of course, said Dr Barnaby. I'm a surgeon, so a naked female body isn't the same as it would be to the average red-blooded male. I can't read anymore. Read it? No, you read it. Oh, God. Nurse Cindy starts to slowly undress. She was sexy as hell and she notices Dr Barnaby looking at her differently than he would if he was just operating on her. <laughs> Do I look well, Doctor? I'll say, said Dr Barnaby. Think you better check my pulse, nurse. <laughs> Dr Barnaby flung open the operating theatre doors. As he walked down the corridor, he saw a pretty young Afro-Caribbean nurse crying. She'd straightened her hair so she looked like Beyonce. What's the matter, nurse? Why do you cry? Racism, Doctor. Racism? I hate racism. I think we are all equal and I judge people by their character and not whether they're coloured or not. I made love to a Chinese lady once. Beautiful eyes, 